you're struggling with your pace control, this is definitely going to be the drill for you. So when I'm back at the club, one of the biggest challenges I see golfers facing is the ability to hit the ball the distance that they're trying to. And most golfers will tell me that they're leaving putts short of the hole. Now, the biggest error I see there is that they've got a slightly mixed concept of what they're trying to achieve. And most golfers end up making quite a short and slow backswing and very long and aggressive follow through. So the drill we've got here, I've popped a tee peg in the floor where the ball is going to be struck from. I'm going to quite simply measure back a grip length for a backswing and a grip length for a through swing. So I've created a stroke there now that's pretty much 50-50, so the same distance back as it is the same distance through. Before I start with the ball, I'm just gonna make a couple of practice strokes. And just in my head or out loud here, I'm just gonna to say to myself, one, two. And the aim is that I'm trying to say one when the putter's opposite the back swing tee, and two when the putter reaches the forward swing tee. So I'm creating a 50-50 stroke at a nice even tempo. So just simply it's back, it's one, two. Now when I feel like I've got that, I can drag a ball in, and I'm gonna hit this putt just down the green here. There's no hole, I've got no intention for it to go any far. I'm just gonna try and match the stroke and match my one, two tempo and let the ball travel as far as it should do. So we'll come into the putt here, set all the putter behind the ball. We'll go one, two. Now I'm not going to look how far that's traveled. I think that's quite important because if you do, you'll try to match that with the second putt you strike. So we bring the next ball in opposite the tee peg into the setup position, same idea, we're just gonna go one, two. Again, I'm not gonna look where it's traveled. We're gonna bring in a third ball, same intention, putter in behind, one, two. Now I can look and the hope will be that I've got a reasonably tight cluster of golf balls. So that's telling me I've both matched roughly the same stroke length and roughly the same tempo. The beauty of that now is I could use that as a way of calibrating the speed of these greens today. So if I face a putt of this nature on the golf course, it's probably going to travel about that far. If I have a putt that goes further, I could simply add in some more tee pegs. So I might add in a second grip length back there and a second grip length through. So I've now created a much longer stroke than I had for the first putt, but my intention for the tempo would remain the same. So the putter would be in, the idea that it's still one, two would remain the same and it's the size of the stroke that will help me increase the club head speed to hit the putt a bit further. Give that a go next time you're on the green. As I said, it's a great drill to do if you're playing at a club you've never played before, you're not familiar with how fast the greens might be. Great way of just getting your speed dialed in and taking it to the golf course.